All right, I thought I'd give you a quick run through today on how I finish off my gourds. I use two different types of spray, either a matte spray or a, seems like either I want matte or I want super, super, super shiny. And with this, I wanted, I definitely wanted a matte spray. So the first thing I do is I actually spray the gourd upright. So that would be in this position and I can't hold the camera and spray at the same time, but I would spray it like this in an upright position. Then to make sure that I have gotten every single bit of it, then I'll also go back and spray upside down. Now here in Florida, I will tell you that a lot of times it's very humid and I'll get kind of like a, a ghosty cast on the object and so what I do is I head back inside into the studio and I have a heat gun in there and I'll just give it a hit with the heat gun and kind of go over those hazy parts and that usually will clear it right up so that's the trick and so that I'm not constantly spraying my watch and my fingers uh, a lot of times I'll use some type of a stick you have to be careful that your item doesn't fall off the stick but I'll use some type of a stick to keep it upside down so that I can get the bottom parts better than if I had just held it and sprayed my own hand I've got to do some spraying and of course I always do that outside but as long as I'm here I just want to show you this absolutely indecent posture Kiki Kiki that is indecent how rude you've got your whole belly out there kitty so here we are I'm going to spray three of my most recent favorites Woo. so those are my tricks for spraying everything i know <laughs> thanks for watching see you in the next one i hope this was helpful for you Thank you.